Hello Aries, this is your reading for the first, not the first, what am I talking about? <laughs> this is your mid-month reading. I've already done your May reading. Okay, so we're going to do a mid-month check-in for you guys with the Celtic Cross. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. I wanted to jump there, so I'm going to take that one. That's what's going on around you guys. And then, what's challenging you or crossing you, even. Let's see what the past issues were here. <clears throat> Let's see, in the recent past, what was going on. Your crowning thoughts. Okay, I pulled out two right there. We're going to keep them. Let's see what we've got, guys. I'm going to get a cloth for this table one of these days. The cards always slipping and siding. Let's see what's coming in for you guys. Pull that one. Jump out. And how you're viewing this situation. Let's see what the influence is for you guys here. Your hopes or fears. And <clears throat> what is the overall mid month energy for Aries? Alright, guys. Let's take a look, see. See what's going on. The Knight of Wands here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, more than likely. Leo, Sagittarius energy, I feel. Um, this is on the go. This is being anxious about something here. Okay. I feel like there's something that either you or somebody that is significant to you guys are wanting to revisit. I'm feeling like somebody is, is eager to come back to something here. Okay, this is all about anxious energy, I feel. Um, excited energy. So if this is you, there's something that you're excited about. Um, it's something you're wanting to revisit from the past. Or either you have been another Aries like yourself. Leo Sagittarius individual that is wanting to come back to you. Um, they probably are wanting to travel to you guys. Okay, maybe somebody lives far away from you. Now what's crossing you is the star. Huh. I'm strongly getting that somebody feels like you're the one. That right now you're far away, you're unreachable. Maybe you haven't spoken to somebody in a while. Um, maybe somebody lives hours away from you or across the, the, the country even or across the world. But more so than that, somebody looks at you like you're their soulmate. Um, they think very highly of you. They think that um, they will be happy with you. And I'm feeling that there there's like an anxious energy here that wants to tell you something, wants to show you something here. That is Aquarius energy right there. Now let's see what the past issue was here. Knight of Cups. I feel like this person may have been very flirtatious. This person may not have been serious. Um, as serious as you would have liked for them to be before. Maybe this person, um, you felt like they were very like flirtatious and, you know, just kind of gallivanting around, just spreading love. You know, with this Knight of Cups energy, maybe you feel like they weren't that serious. Okay. This is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. What was going on in the recent past for you guys? is the Nine of Cups. Self-fulfillment. There's something that I felt like um, you guys walked like you left behind emotionally that, that you were just too full of. Um, it was too much for you. Okay, and you walked away or you left that energy behind to go after your own happiness. And I feel like that is the energy that's drawing this person in to you. It's because you're focused on yourself right now, like you're full, you know, and you feel like there is uh, nothing more that you necessarily need emotionally. 
okay you're happy all on your own and I feel like this is the this is drawing this person into you and they are so eager to come towards you okay let's see how you're viewing this situation here ace of swords mm. there's something that you feel very victorious around something that you've learned okay um, I think you, whoever this person is, you know them, um, and you kind of figure that you know what they're about, okay? Um, if they're coming back with an explanation, I feel like you guys already feel like you know everything you need to know about this person. You've been enlightened, okay? And this is something that you had to come to on your own. This is nothing that anybody, like, really broke down and explained to you about a given situation that was going on in the past. This is some knowledge that you came to on your own, okay? Hmm. Let's see what's crowning you here. You've got two cards. You've got the Knight of Pentacles, and you've got the Moon. Hmm. And I do feel like this, this is your energy here with the Knight of Pentacles with the moon because what I'm getting is that I don't feel like you're so eager to jump back into anything with anyone as a matter of fact you're not gonna let your feelings just take over you I feel like you still have very deep emotions for this individual but I don't feel like they affect you um, or they can affect you like they they have before in the past I feel like you're very a very logical thinker and I don't think that you know most people think that Aries just charge they charge into things head first without really giving it a second thought at this point I don't see you doing that I see you going very slow and steady and I do see you actually being able to relate to someone on less of an emotional level not letting your emotions get away from you thinking more logically moving more slowly you know nevertheless I do feel that you have feelings for this person but things are very clear to you things are very clear to you okay now what's coming in for you guys here is the nine of swords hmm. I don't feel like this is you. I don't feel like this is you. I feel like somebody is worried here. And I'm feeling like this is this worry comes because there was there was a mistake made on this person's part. And they feel like you are not open to them. That you're happy on your own. I don't get that though. I just get that you're not just so eager to jump into things um, as you may have been before. Because I do feel that at one time you did feel like this person was the one, whoever this is. Could be Taurus, Pisces, Gemini energy as well. Um, but I don't think that. I think you still know that this person is, is, is very important, is very significant to you, but I don't think that you feel like you have to be with them. I feel like you've learned a lesson here and you are able and willing to move on if you need to. It's not like, oh my gosh, this is my twin flame, this is my soulmate, I have to be with this person. No, I don't see you um, doing that, Aries, okay? Now, the influence here is the Six of Pentacles. <laughs> you know, I feel like, again, this person was spreading the love here with this Knight of Cups energy. And they were not only involved with you, but you feel they were involved with other people. That you weren't getting your just desserts in this situation. And right now, that's all that you will accept. No ifs, ands, or buts about that shit, okay? That is what the influence in this situation is. And this person knows it. They know it. And they know when they come, they gotta come correct. Okay? Your hopes or fears is a seven of wands. 
you're hoping that you can stand your ground, okay? You're hoping that you can do what's best for you. Not let this person just step over your boundaries. I don't see you doing that. I don't see you doing that. Um, I do feel that energetically you guys may be blocking this person because you have been hurt. You have been hurt. And I think that's another thing that's got them worried is the fact that they cannot get through to you. Or maybe you don't behave the way that you used to behave before, you know, when you guys were, you know, truly interacting and connecting. Um, they feel that pull. They feel that you're pulling away. Okay. Let's see what the overall outcome is for you guys. This is Leo energy there. Taurus is here. Overall outcome for you is a king of swords. <laughs> this is you cutting through the bullshit. This is you. Cutting through the bullshit. I do feel that there is somebody who... Strong Taurus Gemini, I feel, may have Leo in their chart. Um, could be Aquarius as well. But I'm feeling strong Gemini, Taurus, um, Leo energy here. But also, again, like I said, Aquarius, um, Pisces, maybe Scorpio energy is here too. But um, this person, I feel, that is coming towards you is somebody who is not... They're not that comfortable expressing how they feel. I feel like you were the one that was always wearing your heart on your sleeve and, and that person took you for granted. That same person's coming back in, but I feel like they're coming with some truth. They're coming with some truth. They're not, um, they're not as confident as they were, I'll tell you that. Okay, but um, they know they have to come correct, and I feel like if they don't come correct, this is you. It's like, uh, no, 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 male or female, very controlled, able to say whatever it is that you need to say without getting overly emotional and, and wearing your heart on your sleeve, just using your logic. Okay, calling people out on their bullshit if you need to. Alright guys, so that is what I have for your mid-month and um, I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.